Hey guys, what's going on? Today is Tuesday, January 11th, 2011, and last week you asked me some questions, and today I'm going to answer them for you. So let's get started, and today's Q&A. The first question comes from the mom of six boys, and she asks, What do you plan on achieving through your channel? Well, I want to do three things. I want to entertain you, I want to make you laugh, and I want to inspire you. And the way I want to inspire you is to try different things. Like if you hear me talk about something, or see me doing something that you may have never tried, give it a shot because I don't want you to get stuck in a routine or a rut because my godfather always said, variety is the spice of life. And here's a quote, one of my all-time favorite quotes that inspires me to try new things is this right here. I'm not sure who quoted this, so if you know, let me know because I don't remember who actually quoted this phrase. Here it is. All men die, but very few men ever really live. Every time I hear that, it inspires me to try something new. But anyway, let's move on to question number two. Okay, the second question comes from NH Revan. I think I'm saying that right. And she's got a two-part question. Um, I think it's a she. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to answer her second question first, and it is, Who is my favorite all-time NASCAR driver? Um, and that would have to be this guy right here. Dale Earnhardt Sr. He was the man. The man in black. The intimidator. The guy you just didn't mess with because he will run you over. Um, the seven-time champion. He's got all kinds of nicknames, but I loved him. Watched him all the time growing up. I loved his attitude, his aggressiveness. He had a great personality. Um, I just loved everything about him. His whole story on how he got started is awesome. If you don't know, go look into it. Um, it I mean, he started with nothing, and he, he created an empire. Um, but anyway, the first question she asked is, who is my favorite NASCAR driver as of right now? Well, that would be his son, Dale Earnhardt Jr. I'm keeping the love within the family. And just because he's not doing well, doesn't mean I'm not going to pull for him. Now, I like other drivers, like, I'm not going to mention who they are, but I like certain drivers, like their driving styles, um, like how some people can be aggressive. But there are some people I just will not pull for, because the rivalries, um, I just don't want to pull for them. But anyway, if you want to know that, just ask, and I might tell you, but since you didn't ask that question, I'm not going to tell you. So, let's move on to the last question I have for you. And it comes from Devin and Erica. And they ask, who is, it, who is in my trusted circle and why? Well, there's a lot of people in my trusted circle. There's a lot of people that I trust. Because there's some people I trust a little. And there's some people I trust a lot. But, if I had to simplify and give you the most hardcore people within my trusted circle, these are the people that would be in it. It would be my parents. It would be my brothers, it would be my girlfriend Rachel, and it would be my two best friends that I can really call my best friends that I can really count on if anything were to happen. That would be Wes and Tina. So if you're watching this, you know who you are. So that's my simplified version of this trusted circle. But like I said, you can trust some people this much, you can trust some people this much. There was one phrase that I've heard a long time ago. Um, about trusting somebody and it was something like um, I'll trust you about as far as I can throw you never really understood that phrase but it's really kind of funny but anyway that's been the questions that I got last week if you would like for this to go on leave your comments down below and leave some questions and uh, if I get a lot of questions I might do this again but uh, just let me know and we'll see and I'll make my mind up whether to do it or not and uh, I'll let you know but that's been today's Q&A and uh, see you next time, guys. Before I go, I want to let you know I'm going to be posting another video um, Thursday, I believe. Um, it's going to be a two-part video, and I want to give you a little inside of what it's going to be like. Let's just say the Christmas tree got taken down, and it's been snowing here the last two days. Well, really, yesterday, and ice last night. I'll give you a little outside, little... Ooh, preview. So here's the outside. Snow, ice, everywhere. So guys, be looking forward to that on Thursday. And uh, we'll see you then. Peace! Okay, today's the day we're going to take a TV and see if it can withstand three people and a sledgehammer. 
So, are you guys ready? Yeah! yeah. TV smashing. Yeah. smashing. Alright, so I'm going to go first, and then who's going second? Me. Adam, and then Beth. So let's see how this TV holds up. 